Behold, the Brooklyn Bridge, but where did it come from? Meet John Augustus Roebling, born in Germany in 1806. John's fascination with bridges dates back to his childhood in Prussia, and he carried this interest with him throughout his life. He studied at the Royal Polytechnic School in Berlin, and in 1831 he moved to Pennsylvania. John originally tried farming, but he didn't have much of a green thumb. So he gave up the farmer's life and found a job with the Pennsylvania Railroad Corporation as a canal engineer. While working with the heavy, relatively weak hemp ropes used to haul boats along the Allegheny, his hidden genius emerged. Why waste time with ropes when you could use cable? John didn't build the Brooklyn Bridge right away. First, he invented a wire rope to replace the hemp rope. Second, he improved on the methods used to make bridge cable. He eventually built several bridges with these cables, including the Niagara Falls Suspension Bridge. John's reputation grew quickly. By the time New York City needed a bridge builder to erect a bridge over the East River, his expertise made him the obvious choice. He passed away before the bridge was complete, but his son Washington took up the torch. Fourteen years after their work began, the Brooklyn Bridge was open for business in 1883. Stretching over 1,500 feet across the East River, this was the largest suspension bridge in the world at the time of its construction. 